So you want to know what it's like to be an artist. What's a day in the life of an artist look like? Well, today I'm going to show you. I'm taking you with me everywhere I go, everything I do. Let's do it. Alright, so my girlfriend just left for work, so now the day kind of begins for me. So I'll probably spend like 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes, I'll put a timer on, clean everything. So depending on the day, there's a lot of variety that occurs uh, at this time, and I go with the day. Whatever's on the schedule, that's what I go with. This happens every time I get up out of my chair during the day, almost every time. Little buddy here thinks she owns my chair. I have this whole couch here that we barely ever sit on and she wants to sit in my chair. I don't really understand it, but I can respect her. It is a good chair, but she needs to get out of my chair. And she isn't exactly happy about having to get out of my chair sometimes. All right, so I realized that there's not many places I need to go today, but one place I do need to go to is Goodwill to drop off some stuff at Goodwill. So I'm doing that first thing in the morning to beat all the crowds because it gets kind of crowded in this little shopping area, but it's about a one minute drive, so. I'm just going to drive there, get it done out of the way for today. She just jumped in my chair again. That's instance number two, and it's only about 9 a.m. Got a long day ahead. I don't know. So I got about an hour and a half until lunchtime. So I'm gonna work on this Alaska painting. I started a few days ago and uh, it just didn't turn out the way I wanted at all. So it has a lot, a lot more work to do on it. Hopefully in the next few days I can have it, have it done, get to a point um, where I like it. So today was kind of just fixing mistakes that I made uh, on the first session. So kind of a step backward, but a uh, step in the right direction. Slow progression being made. I'm happy with all the thick paint and texture I got going on. So pretty cool. All right, so check it out. I'm about to make some juice here. 
Got some carrots, lemons, apples, ginger, cucumber, parsley, cilantro, mint, and celery. But while I'm doing this, I usually have my laptop in the kitchen. I bring this in here and I listen to some podcasts and stuff and just learn while I'm while I'm cutting up some veggies. So I just got my juice made now, and uh, something I kind of do, I kind of drink uh, as much as I can to start out with, and then uh, I ended up eating some dates with it. If you ever, ne if you never had dates, you gotta order some online, and these things are amazing, man. They're kind of like dried fruit, but they're not dried. They're kind of if you if you get good ones, they're moist. They have a pit in the middle, but they're like the sweetest thing you could ever eat. So I eat um, usually like a half a pound of these or something. I mean, eight ounces or something, six to eight ounces. And I'll have some bananas with it as well. And then that usually, um, those three things, maybe a smaller fruit snack later on in the day before dinner or something. Um, just depends on the day, but that'll kind of hold me over till dinner. Just got a package. It's always fun to get a package in the mail. This is uh, some probiotics that I ordered as well as some digestive enzymes. Big bottle of uh, Puridyme. Check out the Life Regenerator on YouTube. Um, this is kind of company he works for. Lifezyme, digestive enzymes, and a little thing of uh, probiotics. Cool. Okay, well, I didn't think I was going anywhere else today, but I just got an email saying that uh, from my day job, I had some uh, shirts being embroidered. That order is now ready. It's been about a week and a half. So now I'm gonna go pick that up so I can get them uh, to my boss as soon as possible. So that's what I'm heading to do right now. Come along, will you? I think I'm becoming a little too adventurous leaving the house so much all the time. I think I should stay inside more often and uh, not do as much. What do you guys think? This is getting a little ridiculous, right? <laughs> oh man. Uh, it's good to finally get out. I like getting out and just get in the car and listen to some music. Lately I've been listening to my own music, putting my own stuff on and trying to just get inspired, get back into it, get back into making music, having some fun. All right. Let's go pick up these shirts. It's cool actually getting to hear. It's cool actually getting to hear my own music through like the car stereo and have an actual bass. Because when I'm making the music, it's on my like crappy computer speakers or like through my headphones, and the bass just isn't optimal. But when you hear it in the car, it's like wow, it's pretty good. I dig it anyway. I don't really care what other people think. I just gotta do what I like to do. Success, mission complete, got the, got the shirts. Time to head back home and chill out. Get back to what I was actually doing, I don't even remember. So check it out, I just took a break from working. Went to check the mail, got something early, unexpected. I thought I wasn't gonna get this for another week. Check it out, check it out, man, I'm excited. What could it be, what could it be? Check that out. Nice. 
watercolor sketchbook. This is Arches, Arches paper. 100% cotton rag watercolor paper, finally. So this one's Fabriano paper. Cool, so I'm gonna test these out, see what paper I like best. But the reason I ordered these is I'm going on a trip soon. It's a secret. You'll have to find out in future episodes of where I'm gonna be going, but I will be taking one of these. This time on this trip, I'm gonna fill up one of these and I got some epic locations I'm going to, but until then, there's some watercolor sketchbooks just got in the mail. Very cool. I want to test these out. I may order two more actually just to have for uh, myself and not for trips. So now it's time for a workout. I try to work out five to six days a week and today is push-up day and I'm just going to do three sets of push-ups as many as I can do. Just a real quick workout. Stay fit, stay healthy, feel alive. All right, so it's 5.30 now, workday's over, I'm done. I'm done with work till tomorrow. My girlfriend is uh, staying late at some social event for work tonight, so she's not getting home till much later. So I'm on my own for dinner, and I'm about to go for a bike ride first before I make dinner. And uh, if, if you want, you can come along. You don't, you, you don't wanna come? Well, you're coming, so check it out, let's go. pretty short bike ride. That was about 10 minutes, 1.8 miles, but it's more about the intensity. It was pretty intense and it's really hot outside. It was a high of uh, 98 today. So it's probably like 95 degrees, something like that outside. And it was so windy. Uh, it was so windy and it was just hot wind the entire time. So I was just like, whew, that was pretty intense. And I'm just now getting back into fitness and stuff. So I want to go slow and build up. I don't want to overdo it in the beginning. So now I'm going to cool off a bit and then I'm going to start making some dinner. Keep it simple. Kind of chill out the rest of the day and see what happens. All right, so check it out. There's my dinner. Half a, uh, half a bag of fries, actually a pound of fries. So you can see here, 16 ounces left in the bag. And uh, the reason I eat like that, this is a pretty typical dinner and the reason I just eat like one thing is it's because it's really easy on my digestion. If you just eat one kind of food, if I mix this with a bunch of other stuff, it becomes more complicated for the uh, digestion. So I'll eat something like this, like a mono meal, if you want to call it that. And uh, it's super easy to digest and it tastes pretty good. So I'll probably have a snack a little bit later after dinner, but right now, boom, takes about 30 minutes and I'm good. All right guys, it's been a fun day, kind of capturing this this whole day. I thought my days would be pretty boring, but it's kind of, it's pretty fun, kind of documenting everything I'm doing. I might do more of this, but just in a different way. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feed my cat, and then later, later on I'm gonna head to bed. I usually get to bed around like 10 p.m. And uh, the day just, next day starts all over again, and just different stuff going on, but uh, I'm probably gonna do Maybe read a little bit, John Singer Sargent book or something. Work on a little bit of music, try to finish one of the songs I had going earlier today and uh, call it a night. Until next time, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this. Peace. That's kind of the day in the life of an artist, of, of me anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Post your comments down below, let me know what you think. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Check out the links in the description and other ways you can support this channel. Greatly appreciate it. Let me know what you think about these kinds of videos. You want me to vlog more, do more daily vlogs, get out and, and vlog. You know, I'm kind of feeling it, it's kind of fun. Anyway, keep on painting and drawing. Don't get discouraged, take care of yourself. Peace.